two top 10 records in a row mm -hmm. with Big and Rich on your own label, which is to me fascinating, right. you know, because nobody's done that, you know, it's, it's really interesting. And I mean, to, uh, I mean, it's called Big and Rich Records. I know, for God's it's sake. awesome. I mean, it's, now, how did it's you not think of that? like it's not oh. affiliated with another label. Uh, uh, There's no right. parent company. Uh, There's right. nothing. Yeah. I mean, our record label is a P.O. box. That's it. But what Kenny and I, I mean. what Kenny and I realized was that on a record label, you know, you're one of the herd, and that label's going to pick, and as they should in their yeah. business model, they got to pick where to put the heat and when to put that heat on that. And yeah. there's 15 or 20 artists on there, and you know you're me and Big Kenny and you turn in a record and you go, we want these three songs to come out in this time frame. Right. And they go, well, that's not our time frame. Right. Well, what's your time frame? Well, their time frame's way on down the road. And, mm -hmm. and even then, you don't know if you're going to get the focus that you need to make sure all the fans hear it. You know, the fans ultimately decide if you have a hit or not. Exactly. I don't think the label should decide if you have a hit. I think the fans ought to decide if you have a hit. And so Kenny and I both think the same way about that. So starting our own record label, we get to determine what songs come out, when they come out, how long we push them, how we push them, yeah. the strategies behind how we promote our music. And we're having more success doing it that way than maybe ever at radio. It's Never had you're focusing on, there is focus. It's yeah. you focus. Right, and you get, a, you get a, a, a group of people that are doing nothing but focusing on your music. Yeah.